Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have come to a place called Ikoma and a friend will be showing me around to this beautiful place because he is a local here and apparently there's a secret temple. So, well, I'm not sure how secret it is, but apparently no, not many people know about it. So I'm really excited to go there. Do you wanna come and say, look, can you hold the camera because your arms are longer than mine? Genki desu. Yeah, recently I was looking for a way to improve my speaking because yeah. I can hear Japanese quite well, but I can't speak so well, as you all know, guys. So <laughs> I started using a uh, uh, application called iTalki. So basically, you can find tutors mm -hmm. online for quite cheap, and like obviously they're fluent. You can live Skype with them and like free communicate, like mm -hmm. free com uh, converse. Yeah, so that's been helping me learn a little bit faster. Okay, that, that works. Do they yeah. do any other languages besides Japanese or every language? Oh, so. Basically, right. So how it works is. Okay guys, so if you want to learn another language, so if you want to learn some more English, you can go to italki, either web browser or you can download the application on your phone. And when you sign up, you can sign up by phone or you can do it by email. On top of that guys, recently they reached out to me and they gave me my own personal URL code. Thanks to everyone on this channel. And it's for $10, so if you go, if you just type in my code and you have $10 credit, you can try a $3 Free, uh, free lesson, like three times. So you don't really have anything to lose. It don't cost anything to sign up. So yeah, try it. Let me know what you think about the application. I'm English, right? So I can sign up with the application and become a tutor yeah. or a student. You can be both. And then obviously I signed up as a student and I looked for a Japanese tutor. But mm. if you're Japanese wanting to learn, say Spanish, you can sign up, choose Spanish and look for Spanish tutors. It's simple, really is simple. Spanish and Japanese are pretty similar to you, actually. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Right, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take you to uh, Hozanji, which Hozanji. not too many people know about it. I'm gonna share it tonight. Tell me in the comments if you know where what this place is. Yeah, so uh, it's about a 15 minute walk. Up these? Yeah, up these, yeah, so prepare I yourself. Walk. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Is this all uphill? Yes, all uphill. Because yeah. yesterday I was at the gym. You know what time I finished gym yesterday? What time? One o'clock. PM or AM? No, AM. What, why? We we signed up, which took about an hour, uh -huh. and then we trained for like two hours. I mean, like that's really good, but like, why why are you so late? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it was so late, but. <laughs> How much do you weigh right now, though? How much do I weigh? Yeah. I'm only fifty. Seven, no, 56 and a half kg oh, right now. So I, I'm very light. How much do you weigh? I weigh <laughs> 89 right now. Look at this, guys. You gotta be kidding me with that hill. Yeah, I'm used to this hill. My legs are a bit. We did like a 15 minute run on the treadmill. 15 minutes, and I was doing it at like uh, 11. 11k. 11k. For 15 yeah. minutes? For, yeah, so That's just, really impressive. I was I was never a fit kid in school. Really? <laughs> no, I was fat. <laughs> I was 110 kilos at my max. No way. Yeah, 110. Uh, my highest weight has been 65 kg. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Everyone's so friendly. Look at how high we already are. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so that's the first time. I, I don't think I've ever walked around number. Yeah. And someone just ran. Konnichiwa. This whole area. Like the people that live around here are pretty used to foreigners coming around. Generally speaking, I feel like they're pretty friendly around here. Okay. Namba, I think, is just a lot of people, so. Yeah, I think yeah. it makes sense. They're busy, so. Yeah. This place is amazing. We're like a third of the way up. A third? Yeah, a third. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mark, next is this Hey, Mark. Okay, come on. We're almost there, kind of. How much do you weigh? I weigh. 89 kilos right now. Are you even struggling? Ah, uh, I mean, a little bit. But again, I'm used to it, right? So. I guess I'm tired from yesterday. That's my excuse. No, that's a pretty good excuse. Does the word ikoma have any uh, meaning or translation that means something to this place? Sapai <laughs> shonai. Because like, apparently, like someone said in the comments, Japan means the land of the wood. Wood? Really? Or something like that. That is land of the rising sun. Yeah, yeah, that's what we <laughs> call it, right? But yeah. the, this was um, a wood country, kind of, basically, like yeah. big wood. I mean, they they use a lot of wood, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's a wood. I've heard another person call it the land of water. Oh, really? It's, it's really just, just land of everything. Yeah, it's just land of everything. <laughs> I feel like rocky right now. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Mark. Oh, 
<laughs> Mark, Mark Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> yeah, now with a backpack, maybe. Hey, Koma, don't. Does it have an English meaning or no? Like the kanji must have some. Kind. I think the kanji has like horse in it or something. So then, okay, going back into my Japanese background. <laughs> well, how did you even learn Japanese? Well, my mom is Japanese, right? Okay, my dad's oh, American. So you're half Japanese. Yeah, half, half Japanese. Uh -huh. Were you born in Japan? I was born in Tokyo. Okay. Then I moved to California. Then, ah. three years ago, I moved to Japan. Japanese. I really want to speak Japanese like fluently. Yeah, you've been getting better though, especially from the first time that I met you. Yeah, yeah, I'm improving, but. I need to use Italki a bit more. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Wow, look at this place. This place is like a really cool hipster vegetarian restaurant. This is a shop, accessory and jewelry shop. Really? Chiel, accessory, yeah, jewelry. The location just don't seem... Well, it, it's for like, uh, this this whole location appeals to like wealthy people that want to struggle a little bit, you know what I mean? To like get to, <laughs> to, get, to get to their stores to but say that, that they... Sense. So this whole, at night, it's really pretty. It's, it lights up all red and stuff, so... North? Yeah, north. Wow, so England is... It's west, right? <laughs> how, how I remember, uh, north, mm. east, south, west, we have a sign in English, never eat shredded wheat. We had an American one, it was like, never eat something white? I don't know, never mind. <laughs> But yeah, so we're coming up to Hozanji now, they I guess. Easy steps, guys, finally. Yeah, at the last, at the last part. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's really pretty. I really want to read these. Yeah, me too, but not enough <laughs> to learn. <laughs> read some. Yeah, right? you, okay, how about this? Let's, let's play spot the kanji. <laughs> which which right, ones can you read? Let's kanji, do this. Right. This one is Miserat. No. Chigo? No, because of this. Uh, <laughs> round two. Round, round two. two. <laughs> okay, power. Ding, 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 yes. Mizu. Okay, what's the one underneath it? This one is kuchi or... Yep. When it gets to like these pairs of kanji, I, I don't know. No, I just blame... No, it's just bad handwriting. It's, it's not our fault. <laughs> That's difficult. Okay, so this is it. This is hodanji. Wow. I, I hear water. I don't know where the water is. And this is a general map of the place. Ooh. Wow. Wait. Yeah. Where so we? we're gonna climb up again. We're right... Here. I want to get to the very top. There. My lad's going here with milk. I'm going in with pineapple soda, so I think so. That's where the monks live. The monks, they live here? Mm -hmm. I want to be a monk. You have to go up bold though, again. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> and next year is the year of the boar, so see, they're getting ready for that. Wait a second, no, that was this year. I'm lying. Oh, so that's why it's up there. <laughs> this year is the year of the boar. Buta or Inoshishi. Yeah, there's Inoshishi that live here on this mountain too. Are they dangerous? Yeah. What? Yeah. What a nice place to Look at that hidden in the tree. That's amazing. England don't really have stuff like this. What? Better not touch it. Yeah, maybe, maybe don't touch it. Why, why is he finding it like such? I think he's washing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it nine toes based? <laughs> Naruto, no. But yeah, no, um, one thing you always see with Asian architecture um, is that one has its mouth closed yeah. and the other one has its mouth open. Why is that? Uh, one's talking and one isn't. <laughs> I, I don't know what they're saying, but they're saying something. These aren't pretty. Mm. I'm not a flower person. This one looks like a cabbage, kind of. I've never seen a flower like that. Yeah, it's weird. It looks like romaine lettuce. Why is this red? Now, everything else has been neutral colors, and all of a sudden, we have this bright, colorful temple. Now, does that have a meaning? Probably. How can we find that if we can't read? We'll Google it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google. Oh, that it's just kind of who hits first. But that's just Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> See the camera. Take a guess. Yeah. This place at night is terrifying though. They finally installed lights. They didn't have lights back when I first moved here. You know what's weird? I just realized. Hmm? I'm pretty sure these are dead people. Probably. No? Because if you look at this, it looks like a boat. I think, didn't, didn't they used to push people out on boats? In I, the I, think was, I think it was Vikings, dude. Ah, uh, it's a guess. Like <laughs> okay. Konoe. Konoe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, this is the apex of where we can go. And then, if you wanted those candles or uh, incense, like we were talking about earlier. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, okay, cool. nine. That's cold. Yeah, it's cold. So yeah, how, how, how did you like that temple? Uh, best so far that I've been right? to. Yeah. Oh. Visually, this place is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like impactful, like definitely I will never forget like this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is the name? Ikoma. A uh, temple name. Yeah. <laughs> Did you even tell me? Yes, I told you. Wait, wait. Says so of the H. Eh? Nihongo. Hozanji. 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 How many of you actually knew this place existed? How many of you have actually been? And if I didn't cover anything in this video, like history that you do know, please tell me. Write it in the comments. Now we make our pilgrimage down the mountain. Yep. <laughs> Okay guys, that is Ikoma and the temple, I forgot the name again. Hozanji. <laughs> Hozanji. Very amazing place, we'll definitely remember that and probably will come again in the future, like in summer, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's quite that. cold today. I want to see it in summer because obviously the scenery changes. And I think that's it for today's video. We're going to wrap it up here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.